Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Bayamente y tu y yo. Slow down, y'all. Say the word right, okay? Uh, and today we have a cash stuffing of my YouTube income. So we'll be putting it mainly into sinking funds, paying a few bills, and then doing a little bit of extras. And if that sounds like something that interests you, then let's get right into it. Okay, you guys, Phineas just wanted to make an appearance on the table, so we're going to let him stay. But basically, I'm here to do a cash stuffing of my YouTube income. And when I say you guys came through, okay, came through. If you watch my budget with me, then you kind of already know where I thought the income would be, but it actually came in a little bit higher because a couple of days weren't reported. So the total that I received for the month of January, which you get paid out in the month of February, would be $2,101. And whatever change, I don't remember, but I'll put it here on the screen. <laughs> All right, so yes, super excited about getting that income. I wanna say a huge thank you because you guys know without any of your support, this would not be possible. That's whether you watch my videos, subscribe to the channel, liked a video, shared it with others. Like there's so many things that you guys do, little small acts of kindness that actually translate to huge payoffs on my behalf and I appreciate it, right? I'm actually able to live some of my best dreams right now due to the fact that this channel is doing so well. I super appreciate everyone for all the love and all the support. It never goes unnoticed. So let's get into this and see what we're gonna do with this money. I did budget for 2019 and like I said, it came in a little bit higher. Um, I've already done paid some bills and already paid put some into some sinking funds and I'll put a video up here so you can see the workout of this plan if you didn't see it but we're going to be doing another budget sheet today and you guys honestly my sharpie bled through my page so I'm really irritated about that but I'm still going to use this page because if you know this is the easy cash budget extended planner this planner is very affordable hence the reason why the pages are so thin because it's very affordable and the book can be found down below in my Amazon storefront okay um, typically I write with a ballpoint pen and it doesn't bleed through, but I walk, I wrote with a Sharpie last time and now it did come through the page. So just transparency, we're going to be using it in this book. It does come with, um, a monthly spread, which I do every month. And then it also has bi-weekly trackers. There's three per month because there's sometimes a magic month. In my case, I usually stuff half of my Etsy and nursing income on one check, which is half of this and half of this. And then I'll stuff my YouTube check on a third cash stuffing. So I have to use all the budgeting pages. And even though it bled through, we're gonna be using that today, okay? All right, let's go ahead and talk about what we're gonna be budgeting for. And that will be $2,100. I'm not gonna do the little dollar, but we will put 2,100. Uh oh, 2100, which will be the total for this cash stuffing. Okay, so this is going to be a rather large cash stuffing because the only thing I want to do is pay a couple of bills. So let's reflect back to what we had left to pay for the month. I would like to pay stream, which is $112, and then for my water bill. It is $88, so that actually is like $200 for those two, which worked out beautifully. So let's go ahead and copy those two down. My water bill just cycled, and my stream bill is a fixed amount if you're new here. So those two, I think, is that uh, 200 or 210? Hold on. 112 plus 88, 200. Yeah, so that's exactly $200. So that means remaining, I should have 1900 Believe it or not, we did cash some cash stuff, some um, cash envelopes last time, and I've not even used it all. I did do some grocery shopping, um, and so I have a little bit left in there. Dining out, we've not been dining out. When the kids say they want to go out because I'm like on a health journey myself, I'm not taking them out. <laughs> I just basically been telling them like I'll make you something at home, and even if I have to get creative and dig in the back of my refrigerator. I've been doing what I got to do. Okay, so we still have some money left in cash envelopes. I'm not going to put anything in there. I do want to address all the sinking funds and a little bit into the debt tracker. So let's go ahead and look at what I said for the month versus what we've already done. All right, so for the majority of these, I want to go ahead and carry over everything that I have. 
So let me just carry over all the categories first and then I'll bring you guys along and we'll discuss what I'm gonna be cash stuffing. All right, so for the next cash stuffing, I do still have money left from Etsy to cash stuff as well as my nursing pay that I should be getting soon. So yeah, we'll have to catch up on the other things like the AT&T bill and any more cash envelopes as well as any other savings challenge or snowballs that we need to do for the month. For this month, I'm hoping I can also do snowball. Let's write it down just in case. All right. So first and foremost, I wanna go ahead and put money towards giving. Because this is a $2,100 check, I will put $210. I hope you guys can see that because I know the bleed through is pretty bad. Um, for Jace, let's see. Jace, I wanted to put a total of 100 for him, myself, and Janae, and I've put 20 so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and satisfy the additional 80 per person. Household, I put in a total of 50 last time, and I needed to put a total of 150. Can you guys see that? Hold on. And I needed to put a total of 150 for the month, so that's gonna be another $100 for that. Medical, I was supposed to put 150 total. Last pay period, I put um, medical 50, so that'll be another 100 for medical. Gingy, I was supposed to put a total of 60. I put 20 in for the first pay period, so we'll put an additional 40. B days, which is birthdays. Janae's birthday's coming up really soon. I put 150 total for the month that I wanted to cash stuff. And so far for birthdays, I've put 40. So I'll put another 110. All right, the rest of them, I didn't put anything last pay period. So for clothes, we'll go ahead and put the 100. Travel, 100. Car, 150. I need an oil change on the car. The light came on saying a, a service is due soon, so I know I'll need to spend some of that. Life happens, 150. Beauty, 100. And I wanna get my hair braided, but I'm gonna wait until the beauty fund grows and then I'll get more in there. Glasses, we'll put 30 and HOA was what? 30 as well. All right, so let me add all these up. And if you can't see them, I just apologize in advance, but I'm gonna go ahead and add them up. Okay, so it says the total is fourteen sixty, and when I take that from the nineteen hundred, uh oh, nineteen hundred minus fourteen sixty, that should be four hundred and forty dollars left. I definitely want to do my daughter's graduation binder for the whole three fifty that I wanted to put in there for this month, so I'll do three fifty for that. And then the balance, which should be minus 350, 90, uh-oh, 440 minus 350. Y'all see my calculator adding up, acting up? Okay, snowball, so that'll be $90 for snowball. All right, so let me just make sure all this adds up. All right, so we know that's 200 and that should be 1900. The key is gonna be with this little sucker right here, especially with this calculator acting up. Hold on, let me just make sure this all balances. 40, 110, 100, 100, 150, 150, 100, 30, 30, 210. Oh no. Hold on. 80, 80, 80, 100, 100, 40, 110, 100, 100, 150, 150, 100, 30, 30, 210. Okay, that's right. 1460. 
And so that leaves 440 left and we'll put 350 there and 90 towards Snowball. Let me just write it out at the bottom and we should be all set for this pay period. Let's see, 2100, bills, 200, 14, no, nothing for, ca nothing for cash envelopes, 1460 sinking funds, challenges, we'll say 350 and debt tracker 90. All right, so that should be everything. So um, now we need to do the cash stuffing of 1900. I do leave this money in the bank and go ahead and pay the bills. I went and grabbed $1,900 from the bank. So we're not even gonna do the cash stuffing tracker, but what you would do if you were using this for the first time, you'd list all the sinking funds that you're gonna cash stuff as well as any cash envelopes. And then you'd write out the denomination. So like for Jace, let's say we needed four twenties to make $80. And once you add up all the denominations for every category, you would add them down and it would give you a bill count of what type of bills you need to ask for the teller. At that point, you would fill out one of these little teller slips that I didn't use this time, but I have used. Um, and you write down the denominations quantity of every bill that you need and the total amount to withdraw, which in this case would be 1900. And you would take this one post-it note with you to the bank and they'll give you the exact denomination so your cash stuffing will be nice and smooth. However, me, I like to live on the edge. So what I'm gonna do is, since I was already out walking this morning and I was right near the bank, I went ahead and just deducted the $1,900 because I knew that I had $200 worth of bills that I was gonna pay, okay? So that $1,900 I got in some large, some small, I even got some ones, but let's go ahead and cash count up the $1,900. All right, here's on Mula, $1,900. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. That's 900. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87. 20, 40, 60, 88. 20, 40, 60, 89. So that's 1,800. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Wait, hold on. Did I miss a 5? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, here it goes. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 100. So that's a total of $1,900. So y'all, let's get this cash stuff and start it. If you were here before, then you know that I already did some towards savings challenges with some bonus money that I had from Etsy. So I'm not so pressed about the savings challenges this time, um, but I wanna mainly take care of the sinking funds because those are just saving for categories that I know I'm gonna you know, eventually need to spend. And so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for today is focus on sinking funds. Last time I did it this way, and when I got to the end of the month, I hardly had any sinking funds to stuff, and I was like, this is so sad. But you know what? I do it to myself. Because I really could put some of this money elsewhere, but we're going to go ahead and take care of the sinking funds. Not, not, we're going to get it out the way. All right, so let me set everything up. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I think we got it all set up. How have you guys been? I feel like it's been so long since I've been on here and i really have been prioritizing like my health one time management two and a little downtime like i feel like since i started cash stuffing okay small rant coming since i started my not cash stuffing since i started um youtube full time which is a year ago i really need to do a year update to kind of talk about how i feel about it but since i started doing cash stuffing full time. Okay. And I left my nursing job other than now I'm back to nursing PRN. You know what I'm saying? I really strongly focused on growing my channel and putting my best into my products, my Etsy store. And it was just go, go, go mode for like a full blown year, you know? And this year I was like, you got to take care of yourself too, because health is wealth, which is why I started my second channel. I'll link that down below, which is um, mainly me trying to lose weight be more healthy, exercise more, take care of myself, both mentally, physically, spiritually, all that over there, okay? Um, but for right now, I'm just doing kind of like weekly posts and a little bit in between if I can find the time. But yeah, I just tried to like relax a little bit, you know? I tried to like take more time for self, 
And that might be in regards to my health, my mental, my physical health. That might be more time with my family, things like that. And so, yeah, I mean, I have a ton of ideas. And remember, I have a goal to get to 10 videos this month on this particular channel and four on the other channel. So I am still putting out content, but I mean, sometimes there will be little breaks and it's just because I'm trying to like decompress. Okay. And I'm still working nursing. I was just there yesterday and I got to go back again tomorrow. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to cash stuffing. But I did want to find out how have you guys been and I hope you guys have been good. And just know that I love you guys. Like you guys, you guys are my tribe. Like I've said it a gazillion times. You guys are the fam. And we're going to come up with a live before some, I'm hoping before the end of the month, we can schedule a live. So be on the lookout for that as well. All right. So let's stuff Janae first. $80, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 40, 50. She has 150 and we're going to do 90. Let's just go ahead and give her 100. We're going to do $100 bills for me and the kids. 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240. 240. Is that right? 150 plus 80 is 240. It should be 230. 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240. Didn't she just have 150? Did I take the 10 out? 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 150 plus. Oh, I put 90 in. Oh, come on. Y'all, it's too early. It's too, I mean, come, what? Okay, 1, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. Whew. Okay, we early in the cash stuff and she already confusing herself. I'm like, okay, 100 minus 80 is definitely $20 that should have went back in there. We're going to do the same thing for Jace, but I'll just take a $20 bill, put it in, and put 100 in. So he has one, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. He's the one that has a little bit less. I should have put that extra 10 in there for him, but we'll just leave him at 230. For me, I should end up with 240. Let's put 20 out, 100 in, and there's all the hundreds. One, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240. 240. You guys, I tried to go get some exercise clothes and I was going to take some of this money and go do it. But I'm going to tell you, it didn't all work out. Okay, that's going to be on my other channel, me trying them clothes on. It It, it just didn't all work out. All right, next is going to be car maintenance. Car should be getting $150. And we'll just do $350. I'm trying to do all large bills. $350. So I maybe should have got some more large bills. One, two, three, three fifty is in car maintenance. And like I said, the check oil, no check engine light came on for an oil change. That's one thing about a Honda. It'll give you a check engine light and you know exactly what you need to be doing. And in my case, I need to change the oil and do a tire rotation. So that'll be getting done soon. It says coming soon. Household will be doing a hundred. Let's just do two fifties. And now we have one fifty two, fifty three, three twenty, three forty. Did you notice I was being risky out here and not counting it before I added it? Because if I would have did that on Janae's envelope, y'all, I never would have caught that extra $10 she got. Um, birthdays <laughs> is supposed to get um, 110. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110 is already in there. And we're going to put another 110. Janae's birthday is coming up soon. And I need to really get on what I'm going to get her because this doesn't look like enough for what she's asking for. 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 220. Um, yeah, I might put some more in this one at the end of the month if I can come up with some extra just so that, and then for the month of March, definitely I'm going to pad it up a bit. Medical, let's see, $100, and right now it has 50, 70, 90, 110, 125, and we'll put 100, so that'll be, let's just put one of these, two of these, and one of these. Why am I calling them these and these? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> 51. We had to get rid of that oddball 50. Y'all know how I feel about it. 20, 40, 60, 82, 210, 20, 225. You see how she did? She just slanging bills now. Okay, don't confuse it with the 50. She will slang a bill in a minute. Okay, so that's that. Medical's doing good. Clothing. I just bought clothes for Jace today. And I got to figure out where that money is going to come from. But for right now, we're going to put $100. Let's do the same thing because I, I need to get rid of them oddball 50s. So we're going to do $100. All right. Watch her slang. 
51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 210, 25, 225 for clothing. And I just bought Jace a few shirts. Old Navy was having an amazing sale and I was there trying on clothes anyway. So yeah. Uh, travel doo, 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 has 150. Well, we really got to do something about this because I, let me tell you the way I'm ready to get out of town. 51, 52, 250. I don't know. It's like my mindset changed ever since like the vid. And she's just like not been getting out of town. And I am a avid traveler before. But now it's like I'm slowing down. What is the deal? Like, I got to get somewhere. Gingy, 20, 40, 60, 81. And Gingy owes me $40. But I'm going to go ahead and put 40 in for today. And I'll take a 20 out of hers. No, I'll take 40. No, I'm going to leave it in there. Uh, should I donate snacks to the cat? I'm going to donate snacks to her out of the buffer, but low key, she really owe me $40 because she be eating up all the snacks in the world. I know I spent 40 out of my buffer. Okay, beauty, $100. 20, 40, 60, 81. And beauty really, Janae spent the whole thing on her braids and then I didn't get my braids and now my hair is just in twists and I need to redo them, but I don't want to. Once this gets enough money back for another set of braids, which is about $250, which will be next month sometime, I'm getting my hair braided before she gets on it. Grocery sink and fun. I haven't been putting anything or budgeting anything for this. I got to get on that. Life happens. We're going to put $150. And it has $150. 20, 40, 60, 81. We're going to get rid of that odd 50. So your girl going to be able to flip some bills. One, two, 20, 40, 60, 83. Okay, $300 for Life Happens. That's doing good. Uh, homeowners Association, we're going to put 30 And you guys, I just paid the last Homeowners Association. There's 50 in there now. And it went up to $350. i am like, y'all tripping. Homeowners Association out here will get you. I know in California my mom had one and it did the same thing, but psh, they be trying to get you. And I don't know, I still don't know exactly what they do for our subdivision of homeowners. I'm still not sure, but it's $350 a year. Okay, next is um, glasses, and I was going to put 30 and that's 20 40 50 60 The one good thing I will say about Homeowner Association is we get a pool, but it's not even pool time. So what do y'all charge me for all this? What What is all this? All right, next is giving. I'm going to put 210 total, and in regular YouTube giving, I have 50 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 185, 185. Thank you guys all for the suggestions that you gave me about what type of things you want to have on the live. And that's going to be coming up soon. Just let me try to figure out some stuff about work work, like nursing work, and then I will get on it. But if we're doing 210, let's go ahead and put um, once, no. Let's go ahead and put 60 in this category. And then we'll put the other 150 in regular. 20, 40, 60. Okay, we got a little cash, y'all. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 45, 245. Now, why that time I could count with the 50, but I can't do it on a normal day? She don't know. Sometimes her brain work and sometimes it just don't. All right, 150 is going to go in here. And I still have quite a bit left. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50. I'm starting to feel a little bit resentful towards that family friend who keeps asking me for nickel and dime money here and there. And so, yeah, I've not been sending it, but I got to say some prayers around. I got to say some prayers around that and figure out what I'm supposed to do. Okay. And be led in that situation. Anyway, giving now has 1, 20, 40, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 410, 415. So, yeah, usually this is empty because I've been and gave it all to him or, yeah, we're not going to talk about it. We're, we're just, we're just not going to talk about it. All right. Nothing's in bank deposit, even though Gingy's 40 needs to be over there. Let's move on from sinking funds. This on the list is my daughter's graduation binder. Oh, you guys, it's coming faster than I know. I was telling her just today, I'm like, hang in there, Janae. Like, you're almost done with school. It's going so quickly. Just slow. I want to slow it down, but 
for her sake, I want to speed it up. I know she's sick of being at school and she wants to move on to be independent and be a college student. But yeah, my little binder, it doesn't have much months left. I think I might stuff some for May and June in the month of May because she graduated at the end of May. So I have about five more left and we're doing one today, which is going to be February. Cheer up, Buttercup. 350 is going in the graduation binder. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. What is that? 310, 330, 350. Is that right? I hope this is right. Let's count it up. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 310, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 350. Y'all, another month. Complete in the graduation binder. I think in some ways, this binder is like so cute. You guys, I got it from a pink cloth life. If you don't know, somebody asked me about this in my Etsy store. I've never sold this. I tried to, trust me, but I couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. And I'm sure there's other ways you can make one. Maybe I'll make another one that's kind of like graduation style, but you know, has the same kind of concept with a different backing or a different outer casing. But anyway, what I wanted to say about this binder is as cute as it is and as much money and has much fun and a great gift is gonna be to give to her, it is reminding me that the days are running short before she's actually gonna be walking across the stage and I can almost tear up about it now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to close it and be happy that we've already stuffed so many months worth and she's gonna be excited when she gets this gift. She also wants me to fix my old car, or she asked me because she had my older car, the Ford Edge, because um, she's like six feet tall. My daughter's like six feet tall, just in case you guys didn't know. So she cannot get in the little like Honda that I have that's a little golf cart. She needs something big. And so she asked if she could fix the Edge, if I can get it fixed for her, which means it needs a $5,000 replacement engine. So I'm thinking about that. I might give her this as well as fix the car and fix the engine in the car and give her that as well. It's a 2017, so it's a good car, except for the engine problems that I'm not really happy with Ford about. But when I digress, if she thinks she wants to drive it, I will think about getting it fixed. That might be something I'm working towards very shortly, which is $5,000 in the next few months so that she can get that car fixed and have it as a graduation present. So really, I got about a couple of months to work on it. All right, let's talk about what we have left. 20, 40, 60, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. Okay, so we have $90 left. So actually things all worked out as planned. I know sometimes it don't feel like it will, but it worked out. The last $90 is gonna go into the Easy Debt Snowball Tracker, which I'm not using this for debts. If you've been here for a while, I'm using it for home renos, which are totaling $16,700 that I wanna save for the year. I have each individual box broken down for the home renovations that I wanna do. Someone else asked me if I can offer this tracker without the words creditor, so they can too use it for home renos instead of it being like it's a debt tracker, make it more generic, which is an idea I'm truly thinking about. And if so, I would offer that in my Etsy store. For right now though, if you wanna use this tracker, it is double-sided. You can get it double-sided and laminate it down in my Etsy store, or you can just pay for the digital download, print it and laminate it yourself, or just print it and use it every time you need it, okay? We're gonna be putting $90, and I think I'm just gonna put it towards Jay's bid since it's just 90. And the rest of the money at the end of the month, I'll be able to get a washer and dryer. So we're gonna put 90 for right now, which is only a total of 330. And I think for the month, I had budgeted like 700, I think. Let me see. Yeah, 700. So yeah, 330 is what we've put in so far this month. Let's go ahead and do today's date, which is 222. It's 222, y'all. Okay, be happy. $90. And so 635 minus 90. Mm, Mr. Calculator, we need you. Cause she can't do that kind of math. 545 will be left towards Jace's bid. And that means I have almost $500 already done. Um, and I don't even know if his bid is gonna cost $1,000. So I'm gonna start looking now. Home Renos is in here and it's already overwhelmed. Let me see, can I put something in here? Do do do. Okay, I'm taking out a spring break $10 and putting the 10 ones in there because this little envelope for Home Reno is already 
blowing up the spot. We'll put that there. And this money, all the ones, will go back in spring break. So right now, that envelope doesn't have that much in it. So it can handle the extra bulk for right now. But we might need to do a bill swap soon, okay? Um, home rentals. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm. Mm. When I see this money come out, I'd be like, ooh. She'd be like, ooh. Okay. If you already know, home renovations should have $1,000 in the bank that I'm gonna be using towards flooring. This gold $100 bill is for my manifestations. It's a manifestation bill. And let's see, Mr. Calculator. Mr. Calculator. All right, we should have, we need 250 more on this one out of 2,000. So we should have 1750 for that. Plus we should have $465, is that right? $455. That's 2205 plus I feel like we had a five extra. So we should have 2210 in this envelope. Y'all let it work out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 51, mm-mm. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2000. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 90, 210. 2210 is correct. It's correct. Y'all. We are pressing forward with this home reno situation this year. This year, we are pressing forward, okay? Because we have made it to February and we already have 2210 and this envelope's about to burst. We better hurry up and get that washer and dryer. Stop playing. Don't play with me. If you guys are interested in one of these trackers, don't forget, head over to Etsy. Okay, folks. So there's nothing in the cash tray. And with that being said, that is the end of this cash stuffing, okay? So not only did we pay some bills, cash stuff some sinking funds, put some of the deck tracker, some of my daughter's graduation binder, but we still have more to do this month. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And somebody said there's no more notification bells. I don't know, but look, if you get a notification, head on over and see what I'm talking about, okay? Because it might be something that you need to hear. Also, don't forget, like the video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need this content of seeing a budget go from beginning to end, paycheck to paycheck. And then finally, share it with someone if you know they're in search of trying to get their finances on track. All right, if you made all the way to the end of this video and you a real one, I know y'all thought I forgot because I usually say all that after I say this part, but if you made all the way to the end and you a real one, put this one single emoji right here, letting me know that you made it. And I will see you guys very shortly. Remember, without you, none of this is possible. So I truly, truly, truly thank you. And you're going to see it when we get on that live. Hopefully before the end of the month. Let me just try to figure out a couple of things with nursing, Etsy, my other channel. I got a lot of balls in the air. But I'm going to make a point to do a giveaway on this channel in a live sometime very shortly. So keep your eyes open for that. All right. I think that's everything for today. I thank you guys for being here. Take care.